It is Ignite Night, guys. Let's go. Scott's giving a word later on after we worship. And um, funny enough, uh, I felt the same exact pressing that, that Scott is feeling about his message tonight. And I don't want to uh, say the same stuff that he's saying. But th- what the Lord is doing is he wants us to press into a place of understanding how deep that our need is for him. In the same way that Scott's going to touch on and, and, and expand on in, in much greater than I'm going to be able to right now, is he who is forgiven much, loves much. And if we can get into ourselves postured into a place of how we have been redeemed, how he has brought us back from the depths of darkness of where we started from and where he is lifting us up to, about how good his forgiveness and his grace is in comparison to how wretched that we truly were. He has done so much for you. He's done so much for me. And not only has he, and, and, and grace, is, is, grace isn't a, uh, isn't just zeroing your bill from the debt from you were in debt to being at zero grace is coming above and beyond giving you far more than what you deserved in the first place he didn't just cancel the debt he came and he overflowed for, so that you could have an abundance to move forward in everything that we need so that we can be absolutely free not to just be free but to take ground forward in our lives so let's stand up real quick. We got to get all the stuff from outside and just, just put it out of our heads. This is going to be a, a practice that we need to do every time we come into church, every time, the, every morning, whenever we pray, just shutting everything out for a second. Sometimes I need to just confess some of the stuff that's on my mind so I can get it done that I can, I can move into the presence of the Lord rightly. So if you need to do that, take that moment with yourself. Say, like, Lord, this is on my mind. This is bothering me, and we're, we're pushing that out. Give, give you the 20 seconds to do that. Get your heart right. Give him soul attention. No clutter. Just get rid of the clutter. It is not worth it tonight. I want you to put your hand on your chest. And ask him to show you how good he is. Lord, show us how good you are tonight. Now I want you to, to pray over yourself and I want to make sure that you recognize how deeply you need him. Put yourself in your rightful place as if the King of Kings was in this room, in person, you're in the throne room with him. How low would you have to be? What is the rightful place of this servant? Who has given far greater rewards than what we would ever deserve. Given gifts that we can never earn. Just make yourself so low before him just for a moment. Confess any sin that you've been holding on to. Just kill all the competitors right now with him. No competitors. And this is the last thing that we're going to do, and we're going to worship him. God has said to you that he wants to empower you to approach his throne boldly. And that blows my mind with how in debt I am. He didn't just cancel my debt, but he said, I want you to come and march up this throne. I want you to come and ask me. I want you to come and worship me. I want you to come and be with me. I want you to come be with me in the capacity where you can take on my life. You can take on my characteristics. Who I am is who I want you to be. gotten rid of the stuff, Lord. We've set ourselves rightly at your feet. And we've taken on your calling that you said, come up here and approach my throne boldly. And Jesus, we recognize that this isn't a place that we've rightfully earned. But 
Lord, that we can only operate in because you want this for us. You want us to come with you. You want us to be with you. You want us to worship you. So Jesus, we give you tonight. We pray that you would just help push all of the competitors out of our mind, that it would just be you and us one-on-one, that you would get our sole attention tonight, that nobody else would be able to steal anything from you. Any thought that pops up, Jesus, make sure we take it captive because we want to give you every single moment, every single word, every single breath that we take is not going to be in vain. None of them will be in vain. All of them tonight, Lord, are all for you. So Jesus, come and make the most of this little sacrifice that we can make to be here on a beautiful Wednesday night and make it far more beautiful than what we could ever be doing outside right now. Come and touch down in this place, Holy Spirit. Come and well up inside of us, and we are gonna give you as big of a sacrifice, as big of worship that we can possibly give you. Lord, as though it might be so small in our eyes, Lord, you can make much of it. So Lord, come and see what we're giving you. We promise, Lord, that it is our best. Here's what we have. When we give you an inch, Lord, come and take this a mile. We want you to feel so welcomed here. We want you to feel as though you have a people who are willing to let you move. So Jesus, come and be free to move here as you want to. And we will be faithful to listen, to lay ourselves down, to worship you for everything that you are. Let's do this, guys. Holy Spirit, come.
Jesus, 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 oh, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, we confess there is no one like you. There is no one besides you. Jesus, you have the name that is above every other name. So just the mention of your name is exalting you higher and higher and higher. done with Jesus. So even if that means we just stay in this moment just a little while longer, he's just revealing something to us about who Jesus is. Jesus, we've searched. We've done everything under the sun and we've concluded that there is no one like you, God. There is no one more beautiful than you, Jesus. Spirit, reveal Jesus to us in all of his beauty.
Lord, we stay in this posture of confession, of, of confessing, Lord, of, of our love for you and our desire to love you more, Lord. Jesus, we confess that we are our own greatest enemies. We get in our own way and we inhibit that love you have for us, that love that you have for the Father, the love that you are teaching us and instilling in us, Lord. At the end of John chapter 17, it's Jesus' prayer for his disciples and his believers everywhere. Those that come and believe not by, by sight, but by faith and the hearing of the word. And he, he, he ends this prayer for you and for me. He says this, I have made known to them your name and I will continue to make it known that the love with which you have loved me may be in them and I in them. Jesus, we confess that this is the greatest longing of our heart. That we long to have this love that you have from the Father and for the Father implanted in us, Lord. It is not something we can fabricate or make up or issue in by our own goodwill, God, but instead it is by the work of your Spirit and the indwelling of you, your Spirit, Jesus, inside of us, teaching us, changing us, sanctifying us, making us holy. So God, we pray that tonight, Lord, that we just get out of our own way, God, that we, that we welcome your Spirit in to love you, Jesus to experience the love that the Father has for you. Jesus, we just want to behold you tonight. We want to fix our eyes and our hearts and our minds on you tonight. Continue to be glorified. And Lord, we, we, we pray over the words that Pastor Scott is about to preach, Lord. Holy Spirit, be on his mind and on his heart and on his tongue. Bless his words. Bless them so that the Lord may be glorified. Yes, Jesus, we love you and we thank you. It's in your precious and holy name.
struck, struck deep with me was despite the judgmental crowd. Because I, I, some, like, I tear up quite a bit. I get, I get, just my heart just like, it feels heavy sometimes. Something comes out. And depending on my company, that's what depends on how hard I cry. On what I actually give you is based on how close I am with you. I cry the, the most freely and the loudest to the people that I, I trust, that I'm closest with, that I know that are there for me and aren't gonna judge me in my most broken hour. Scott is one of those people. Matt and Adrienne and Sammy are some of those people. But I don't need to hold back the, just, just how real it is sometimes. Cause I gotta, gotta sniffle, make sure you know you're not snotting too much, make sure you're not crying too loudly, make sure that you know you're kind of holding yourself together. But then there's some times where you just don't care. You just completely let loose. And despite a judgmental crowd, we see this woman completely broken over, broken open out of gratitude for what Jesus has brought her through. she was completely captivated by him despite the judgmental crowd she did not care I pray that each and every one of us would be able to take that lesson tonight of the absolute captivation that Jesus should have on each and every single one of our lives then we come to his feet and we worship him when we speak to him would have that same that same openness that Lord I'm just going to be broken in front of you that we would just be so comfortable at his feet that we wouldn't have any care for what anybody else sees or says would just be so overcome by his goodness that he can get the purity of our offering of giving us giving him all of the snot and tears that we that we might have so i pray that we would just take this as far as we can this offering that we get to give back by actually taking this in applying it and if you're a person that really holds back That's what you got to work on. Don't hold anything back from him because he rewards you so much further than any, 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 anything that you can give him. You give something to him, he gives back to you tenfold. You give him your broken heart, you give him your tears, you give him the purity of where you're at in this moment. All of your gratitude broken open out of the depth of brokenness that you've been in. It's, it's, it's worth the exchange. So Lord, I pray that you would just bless every single one of us. That you would just give us that relationship with you where we could just be so free to wail at your feet. Not afraid of how ugly our face might turn when we cry sometimes. <laughs> because we're so comfortable with you because we love you so much and we trust you with our everything. The Lord, we wouldn't hold anything back. So Holy Spirit, come and just make this message actually change every single person here. So Lord, we just agree with this message. We thank you for the testimony of this woman. And we take it on for ourselves, Lord. We would worship you in this way you rightly deserve with our absolute all and I pray that we would start making leaps and strides in the direction of giving you our utmost giving you the depths of what we got in Jesus' name Amen